Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Ryan and we are back with our second episode of Change, a homeless survival experience. If you did miss the first one and you'd like to start at the very beginning, check the link in the description below. There's also a link to the Steam page if you'd like to check this game out for yourself. But with that said guys, let's jump into the run. So we are continuing where we left off on the last one. It basically saves your game on each time you go to sleep. So here we are. It is 7 o'clock in the morning. We have $5.19. Oh, we've also got a guy selling apples here. Yeah, apples are good because they increase hunger by a little bit, but they also give you happiness too. So I'm going to buy a couple apples. That's good for us. In fact, we should probably eat a couple of apples here. We've also got ourselves some recycling bits here. That's six things. We'll turn those in for some change. We found some beer in the trash can. I'm keeping that right now in case we get real low on happiness or if I find somebody to trade it with. And we've got a pill, too. We purchased one of those early on, and they actually gave us a free one because we were homeless. Oh, the trash. It's an apple with a bite out of it. Yeah, let's eat it. Let's eat it. New perk, scavenging. So we just got a perk. We're leveling up our homeless experience here. Uh, so hoard or gain a cash bonus when you turn in max scrap, okay? Chance to find additional scrap when searching trash. Also, I should mention max scrap is pretty high. It's like 30 or something, but um, that's not bad. Forager, found, food found in trash restores more hunger. Strong stomach. I think I'm going to actually grab this. So reduce chance of illness from food found in trash. There we go. Now, speaking of... Uh, trash we are pretty dirty after searching through that let's stop in here and sell we got 63 cents out of that not bad what's this thing got bottle of water let's buy one and leave and here's the bathroom water closet we're gonna wash ourselves boom 100 percent. good 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 another perk okay yeah so being pretty early on we're hitting perks left and right which is good better trading slightly reduces all happiness effects from night events so that means good and bad. Uh, benched, increased cash gain when using benches, or increased hunger recovery in shelters. I want sheltered. So let's leave and I want let's take a quick peek at our progress so far. So we've studied a couple days. We brought this up from like 10 or 12 to a 14. Uh, we do have a crime level. It's at four somehow. I think we got caught begging once. That probably is what did it. And we've got several perks here. Amongst them is strong back. Thief, we picked this up at the start of the game. I don't do a lot of stealing in this. I might have to do like a full thief playthrough at some point. We have Heart of Stone. You're less likely to lose happiness when people are unkind to us. That we just got the strong stomach. We have a better chance of begging. Shelter regular. So we've got these two now, which is what I was hoping to see. Yeah, no curfew for shelters. If staying in the same shelter as the previous night, which we do have one established. And now we get more food when we stay at a shelter. So our shelter is just over there to the right, but we're going to continue on. Oop, police officer almost begged right in front of him. But uh, let's keep moving. Pick up. You can pick up trash off the streets and the police won't give you any problems. But he's a little bit far behind. Let's, hey, look at that. We just leveled up again. Did we get any money? Yeah, she gave us some money too. Size up. Sometimes you can see when people might give cash when you hover over them. Interesting. That might be new, or maybe I've just never seen it before. Significantly increased begging success if happiness is greater than 90. That's tough. Let me tell you, happiness is the hardest thing to keep up. I have definitely lost playthroughs because of happiness before. Earner. Gain a happiness boost if you earn at least $7 in a day from begging. That was pretty hard to do. Okay, what about Beguiler? Choice responses are... Oh, okay. Uh, we haven't seen this yet. So what this means is sometimes you'll have conversational choices. Like it'll, somebody will be like, you ask them for money, they'll be like, why do you want it? And your options will be like, lie to them and tell them it's for your kids or, you know, whatever. But I think we'll go with size up. I want to try this and see. It says occasionally we'll, we'll be able to see. Sorry, nobody. I got you. No worries. No hard feelings, sir. <gasps> we got some scrap. Watch that. Watch that uh, hygiene level, though. As I dig through the trash, it'll go down. It'll go down for sure. Okay, so I don't think we did any library today. So let's pop in here and study. So in order to get a job, we've got to get our study level up to 25 or 24. And then I think we also need some paperwork, meaning... We need like a residence and stuff. Ooh, this is good. 
Yeah, sausage rolls are pretty sick. I'm going to grab two of those. And we're going to eat one right now. Not bad. Not bad at all. Those are very cost-effective food items, in my opinion. Okay, we can beg. Come here, lady. If we can just get over a dollar. Let's see. We, 2 p.m. It's still midday. If we can get over a dollar here in cash, we can just push on. We can do some serious walking and uh, take the bus home. Damn it, I didn't mean to talk to him twice. Oh, sweet. Thanks a lot. Nice. She just hooked us up with bus fare. You got anything, bud? No. All right, we'll keep going. And, you know, walking's good just for picking up trash and stuff. Looking through the trash cans. What is it? Whole sausage roll. Eat that sucker. Of course. Oh, there, there, there. Did you see the little eyeball pop up? Oh, well, what the hell? <laughs> she still said no. All right, no worries, no worries. I'm not going to hit up every single person. Remember, it does affect happiness. When you get turned down, maybe they'll be rude to you or something. So, so magazines are cool. We're super broke, though. Yeah, I can't even afford the plain bread right now. Oh, man, we got some trash. Uh, this is helpful. If you can't find a, a water closet, you can use the fountain. Splash the water on your face. Gorgeous. Yeah, people will be more apt to give you money if you're clean. All right, we're at 6 p.m. There's a bus stop right here, so I don't have a problem kind of chilling out in this area. No way. God damn it. People are super stingy. Here, thank you. Awesome. Okay, so we don't have a curfew, We just, which means we just have to get back to our shelter before 9 p.m. The curfew was 8.30 previously, so it's not that big of a... Inc oh, here we go. So this is a conversation. I need it for somewhere. I need new clothes, bro. Look at me. Sir, I don't think you really need it. Well, thanks a lot. Jerk. All right, we got to get home. So we're going to take to the resident shelter. There's a whole bunch of options. Nearest restaurant, the nearest bank. But you can always come back to your residence shelter, even if you haven't set it up yet as your shelter. You know what I'm saying? Like we're in, in progress of doing that right here. So we have two more days until it's officially our residency and we can get like paperwork for it. But it'll still take you back here. Perfect. So now we've only got one more day to sleep there. Let's get through it. You hastily prepare your sleeping area before the night cold cold night sleep settles in. Excuse me. Some hours later, you're suddenly woken by a man stumbling nearby, and he falls on top of you. He smells like booze and doesn't seem to notice you wincing under him as he struggles. What do we do? Let's just do nothing. Hey! After more struggling, he eventually gets up to his feet and emits a loud belch before slowly looking down at you. Oh man, sorry I didn't see you there. He seems like a fairly young guy. He seems familiar. Maybe the one who hangs out with that girl? Here man, sorry. Here you go. Off I go. The drunk stuffs his hand, a hand in his pocket and brings out a little change, dropping it in front of you. Then he moves on. So we got a little money and some street cred. So our choice was good not to like push him and start like a fight or anything just to get him, you know, give him a little tolerance. It is a good way to deal with people, you know, have a little tolerance and respect. Okay, let's see. Winter has come. Okay, the season has changed, bro. That means it's tougher. We got to get, yeah, you're freezing. If you don't stay warmed in winter, you'll lose happiness very rapidly. Spend some time in libraries, toilets, or other buildings to warm up. So let's go to the library. Uh, moving on, your approach. What? What? Since when? That's not been the case. Where the heck's our library at? I swear it was just up here. Was it to the right? Ah, we're freezing. We gotta get in somewhere here. I could probably wash my clothes. Yeah, actually, I think we need to. See how this is locked at 50, and yet there's like no progress being made here? That's because our, our clothes are really, really stinky. So let's wash. This will go up to 100 now. Boom. Okay, we're good. And we warmed up. Okay, we're happier. We need to eat. Beautiful. What's this? Eh. Reduces the effect of illness. Nah, it's a pep drink. Don't need it. Alright, we're trying to get to the library here. It's still early enough. We should be able to learn a little bit. Now, one thing, too, about the library is you can... What? Why? I don't understand why that just happened. 
So, obviously, you can leave the area. Oh, now I'm cold again. This did not happen last time. We weren't, like, on the border there between cities or blocks or whatever. You didn't concentrate very well. Oh, another, another perk. Okay. Brain drain cannot lower you. So this is what I was trying to mention before we got interrupted here. You can lose your knowledge too. If you go too long, if you studied a whole bunch and you get that up, but then you stop for several days in a row, you'll start to have brain drain. So can I go low, uh, lower your study below 20? That's not bad. More cash earned from jobs. That's pretty good. Hyper focus. Studying takes longer, but sometimes gets larger. Eh, just sometimes. No. You can arrive at work an hour later. I'm going to do work ethic. That's cool. All right, so we're warm now. Now, how do I get back home? Do I have to go to the load screen every single time? I might have to take a a bus back. It's 1 p.m. We're okay. I shouldn't be digging through the trash as much. We can, If we get up enough like paperwork and knowledge we can start oh i can't even carry more strap we can start to apply for a job here so this is where we would do it see it says 25 study we're getting closer and that paperwork all depends on some place to live so here we go this is what we need all right let's collect boy oh boy i can't believe like it cut me off on the city transition there that was so weird i swear we were on the right block that was my shelter that we stayed at. I don't know. Not important. See if they got any food. Nope. They're pissed at me. <laughs> the, the restaurants are more often than not will not feed you. Up, oh, we're cold. I, I want to push on here. We got this police officer. I need to. There it is. A bus stop. Let's get home. It's only a dollar. We got four dollars. We are cold. I wonder if the bus trip will warm me up. Should, you know. Nope, didn't. All right, so we're home. This is our shelter. It's still too early for that. What? That is so crazy. So our shelter is like now apparently right on the cut, like on the border between cities. That's going to be so annoying. Okay, stays until residency. Yeah, we just need one more. I just need to warm up. Here's the library. Damn it. Oh, it did it again. Okay, check this out. Check this out. So I mentioned this kind of person in the first episode. If you find one of these stationary people and they have a clipboard, talk to them. She'll hook you up with some money. Oh, crap. A cop saw me. <gasps> we lost two happiness. Okay, we got to let the police officer leave. I didn't even realize that was like a begging act. I guess I did. All right, he's gone. Now watch my money. It's at four. God, are you kidding? He was literally off the screen. Dude, I'm freaking out right now. This game's killing me. I'm getting the unluckiest stuff here. Okay, he's got to be gone now, right? Okay. Whew, for the love of God. Here's all I have. Thank you. So she just hooked it up with like $7. So that's pretty huge. Now I have to get home. Oh, where's the bus stop? Oh, no. It took so long. I'm sleeping on the street. Things are spiraling out of control. Another day is over. It's dangerous to sleep in the streets. You're woken in the night to find a man rummaging through your belongings. He catches your gaze with a desperate and wild look. Then he runs. You've been mugged. How much did we lose? Oh, flip. He took all of it. And I lost a bunch of money. I mean, I lost a bunch of happiness too. Oh my God. I'm going to do... No... Other people will, other homeless will help you more often. Damn, that was so harsh. So I hope we didn't lose our residency too. Oh, is she going to help us again? She's still there. Now that's not usual, but all right, I'm going to give that cop plenty of time to move on. Uh, eat it. Uh, rationer, slightly increased hunger recovery from all food. Hunger decays slower when less than 30. That's a good one. Small chance of starting the day already warmed when sleeping outside. Significantly increased walk speed if your hunger is over 80. Let's do survivalist. All right, is she going to help me? I actually don't think I can beg from her again. She's just still there because we haven't left. Wow, 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 wow. Increased banking success during rush hour. Increased cash from begging during rush hour. Begging from someone multiple times is more successful. 
choice response. Um, let's do this one, Beguiler. Bro, we gotta get back. Well, I don't have any money, so I have to beg now. Obviously. Ugh. Sorry, buddy. We're desperate. You see how, like, bleak everything looks, too? We're all faded out. I think that's because I'm freezing and I'm, like, starving here. Like that. I'm gonna drink the booze. I'm drinking the booze just to... <gasps> Look, we're drunk now. Let's wash it. Okay, did we warm up? Okay. Nice. We gotta get some money or else we're sleeping on the street again. I hope I didn't screw up my residency, you know? <gasps> oh, now see these teenagers standing? Oh, you're drunk. These people walking by this group of teenagers here will just automatically lower... Oh, crap, there's a cop. Yeah, it'll lower our happiness automatically because they'll make fun of us as we walk by. So people are not apt to help us when we're drunk. Oh, here's the choice. Thank you. Yes, now we can get back home. All right, we've got a couple of hours left. Let's boss some chains. <laughs> we're drunk. Oh, popo rolling. Let's see, what do we got? Crisps? I'm going to buy those. What? Wait, what happened to my... Oh, I already bought them. Oh, I spent a little too much. That's okay. Two is not bad. Eat it. All right, we got to get a back up to a dollar. What is that? Your next illness is negated. Got it. Get a job. Oh, cop. Oh, if we can find a recycling center. Has he got anything? Nah, he's selling drugs. Nothing on me right now. All right, let's check the trash. What is it? Eat it. Nice. Additional scrap appears in trash cans every day. Happen around trash cans every day. Happiness decays slower when clothes are dirty. Uh, salvager gain a little happiness when recycling max scrap. Forager found, food found in trash restores more hunger. That's what I'm going for. All right, let's collect that. Oh, sweet. We got enough now to get home. All right, let's pick up all the scrap here. It's crazy. I got to be more careful around my, my home now because I transition. I try to go to the library, transition out of the zone. I have to pay to get home. Oh, thank you. Nice. All right, let's get out of here. Super early, but I'm I'm really curious about my shelter now. I hope we didn't mess it up. Okay, here we are back at the shelter. Let's check it out. <gasps> are you kidding? Every time, bro. All right, here's the shelter. If, it, if we did mess it up... Okay, no, it's good. I was going to say, if we messed it up, I'm going to a whole new area <laughs> and selecting a different shelter. But uh, this one's going to have to do, I guess. I got one more day and we could start to get a job. Gain a random item of clothing if you rest here. That's pretty good, actually. Um, I shouldn't say we can get a job after staying here one more time. That's not true. What will happen is I'll get my paperwork will go up. I don't know how much, but just for having a residence, that kind of starts us off. Then we'll go and get like a library card and maybe a bank account if I can store up enough money. Okay, let's keep begging a little bit. We got some time, so I'm going to beg here a bit. Okay, check this out. I got a little conversation. Let's see. I need somewhere to stay tonight. Ah, sure, here we go. Sweet. So my happiness is getting real low. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rest. Let's get this locked in. Man, we got to do something about our happiness, though. Maybe we can find that pool hall. Man, that was such a good get, having that right next to our place. But I don't know if it's still there now. We might transition when we try to get to it. As you prepare your bed for sleep, you watch a scuffle break out with the shelter staff. Some crazy guys fighting in there. Uh, let me in for fuck's sake. It's fucking cold out here. The staff members, big and patient, bar the way as they explain the rules. It's after curfew now and he's late. He curses at the staff, goes back to the street. You look around to see a few beds that aren't being used tonight. And it makes you feel a little guilty even when you've done nothing. Pretty sad. Pretty sad event. Rules are rules, though. This is a government-run shelter, by the way, that we have lived at. You now have residency at this shelter. You have increased hunger recovery and access to a bank account as long as you don't leave the area. For the love of God, that's going to be hard to accomplish. So we do have a crime level. The cops have got their eye on us. I got caught like four times in a row. Accidentally. 
Um. Nah. What do we have? Pack of crisps. Nice. Puts us right up there. Okay, we're just going to move. Move, move, move to the left. I think I'm safe to move to the left here. Now, if we can get to a bank, that would be amazing. Because I can deposit like five bucks, I think. Minimum. I think that's it. We'll see. It might be eight. I'm not sure. Talk to him. Recycling center. All right. Trying to push. Here's a library. Let's stop in here and actually study. Can I go in? Oh, oh, library card. So we got it. Oh, well, let me study. It's closed. Come back tomorrow. But we did get the card, I think. Oh. <gasps> Wait, my paperwork. Okay, the library card is five. Why does it say 31? Oh, it's for our residents. So that means we are good to go in that sense. Yeah, it looks like our paperwork is in order. Now we just need to get that studying accomplished. Oh, I need to wash. So you can see it's also no longer winter, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's not cold out anymore. It goes pretty quick. I don't know if you can change that in the options. I'm not sure. Might be interesting to see. You can change it to a longer winter cycle. See if they don't have any food. Okay, what do you got for sale here, buddy? Ooh, apples are good. He's a little high price, so I'm just going to buy one. And I'm actually going to go ahead and eat that immediately. I mean, it's not much happiness, but it is some, so... Let's see here. It's still super early in the morning. Going to beg a little bit. Oh, he's going to ask me something. Oh, no, he's not. Ah, uh, silver tongue. Rain wander. Ooh, significantly increased chance. And it's raining right now. Let's do that. I like significant. I like that word. Oh, here we go. She's hooking it up. Thank you. How about this one? <gasps> Popo! He saw me. Guilty as charged. That's it? You're done? No, it's not game over, is it? Dude, moving to a new area? That's just what we didn't want to do. <gasps> oh, no. There it is. We lost it. Oh my god, can you believe it? Just when we gained it, on the day we got our residency, we lose it for getting busted. For begging, and I didn't really even need it. I had plenty of money. Uh, so we're in a whole new area. So basically, instead of going to jail, which I think ends the playthrough if you get busted too much, we're basically in a whole new part of the city. He just relocated us. So they're like, we don't want you here. We're taking you to a neighboring county or whatever. Ooh, I'm going to buy that. And we need to find a new shelter. And yes, we have to start the whole process over again. Here's one. It's 2 p.m. Let's look at this one. Government, early cure few. I don't think that matters for us. Um, gain some food. Random checks. Pretty standard. Let's keep moving. Sometimes you get lucky. You okay. You'll get lucky and find better stuff. I mean, there's a laundry, a recycler around here. If there's a library super close. I'd love to do that one. That's really the like the big criteria in my mind. Like a lot of the stuff is just kind of nice, like having a recycling center. It's just nice to have that, but you need a library close because if you have to walk half the day to get to your local library, or even worse, pay money to take a bus, it's gonna really cramp your success or your chances for a job. All right, let's check the store. Oh, what's this? Fish and chips, hunger percent, a hundred percent, but it drains twenty-five. Oh, man, that's a good... Oh, look, the guitar. So you can do what they call busking, which I'd never heard of. Apparently, that's just, I guess, the British term for playing on the streets and, you know... Um... Yeah, I'll buy that. But, man, I wish I had enough. Steal it. Oh, we're going to do it, guys. 8%. Oh, you were cut. Lay low. Wait, wait, wait. No, hold on. We How did we get caught? We had 8%. What is this? Your crime level goes down whenever you move to a new area. Shameless. Lose less happiness when caught stealing. Reduce chance of losing an item when arrested. Significantly reduces crime level. Increases if hunger is... I think I'm going to do shameless. Lose less happiness. Because you know what? Known to the police now. Attracting attention may get you arrested. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, we don't want to get arrested. Hey, old lady. We might have to switch gears now and start stealing a lot of stuff. 
I do have a perk for that right here, but oh no, right here, thief. You are slightly better at stealing. Well, I guess it's not enough. Let's just hit up a few people while it's raining real quick. Oh, popo. Not doing anything, just picking up junk. Let's go in here. Oh, okay, that's the same shop. Let's see, are we dirty? No, we're like sparkling clean right now. Ah, warming and restores happiness. Don't need that. Just Hey, there's the library. All right, they're closed after three, but what we can do is try to find the nearest shelter. It's getting pretty late. Can I pick that up, please? Oh, we can't carry anymore. I don't know what you do at the police station. Turn in? <laughs> no, not yet. We're not done. We're not giving up yet. Damn it, I can't pick up any. There we go. Let's collect. All right, it's getting super late. We got to find a shelter close. Please, please, please. There's like four cop shops. No shelters, though. Here we go. All right, so if we make this our shelter, extra welfare. Charity events occur. Oh, that's nice. And this is owner by charity. Early curfew, but I don't think that matters. Wait, what? You can't enter the shelter after curfew. I thought we had a perk for that. We literally do. Oh, you know what? No, the perk says that it has to be our our own personal shelter or a place we've stayed at the night before. So we're setting up the residency. Ooh, so that's bad. So that means that one's not viable. Well, looks like we're sleeping on the street again. Oh, man. That's how it is. The life of a homeless person, bro. Things go bad and it just starts to spiral. Let's eat our sandwich and our chips. If we're going to have to sleep on the street, at least we can sleep with a full belly, you know? Oh, we can't even go in any stores right now. That's crazy. Wow, wow, wow. Well, guys, it's nighttime. Let's check out the event we get here. We're sleeping on the street. Ugh, it's going to be rough. It is dangerous to sleep in the streets. No! You're woken and we got mugged again. Zero money. City events passed. The city has become infested. More scavenging rats and foxes? What the? What kind of city is this? Rats and foxes, guys. Oh, my God. Well, tell you what. I'm going to pause it right there. Look, the past section. Oh, God. That is going to do it for today's episode. Man, we are ending on a pretty low note. Oh, we were doing so well in the first one, and now we have almost failed completely. But, you know, it is a roguelike game, so even if we do fail, we'll just start again with the veteran again and try a little bit better. Maybe we'll have some better luck and stuff. But I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If so, hit that like button. Consider su subscribing to the channel. It helps me out a lot with the algorithm, guys. I appreciate you very much. I hope you're enjoying it, and I will see you on the next one.